Good evening, this is part two of the Shadow Arch. So I have this rig set up here just like this. It's a handphone stand and I'm going to try to hang this transparent paper onto the handphone stand and maybe cast a shadow onto the wall and then we can start tracing. Let's go! So it's really dark now so I hope the video looks okay. So as you can see it does work. We have the shadow on the wall there. This is the paper. Yep, and this is the light. I'm using an IKEA light and there's two chairs for the to hold the light and also the paper. So I just gonna have to do a little bit of adjustment, get it correct, and we can start tracing. Hey guys, so this is no easy task right here. So just to let you all know I have to match the wiring, which is really pre-made, and also the, the lights. That's going to be on top here and also the shadow of it all so I would say if you guys are doing shadow art on your wall so the tip I would tell you is that to not to pre-do the wire first you want to do it later so you have to cast the shadow first draw everything out nicely properly measure everything then only you drill the hole and the second tip that I'll give you is that everything has to be proportioned. So this is the rig I set up. It's a ladder and the transparent paper and the light. Everything has to be proportioned because it has to be somewhere in the middle to reduce distortion. So let's say if your, your light is at the bottom of this paper, so the shadow above will be bigger than the shadow below. So if you guys are curious, how am I going to draw the lines here? I'm just going to look far away so that uh, I can see where does the blur line ends because the lines are not very sharp when it's a cast shadow. So from here I can see like where exactly the lines are going. And it also helps to have a reference drawing in your hand so that to you know that what exactly are you drawing here. <laughs> If it's a pouch, then it's a pouch. If it's a shoulder, then it's a shoulder. Alright, so I'm going to continue drawing right now. What is up guys? It's day 2 of the shadow art. I just done with work and my hair sucks. That's why I have this hat on. Now, today we are going to start tracing the big Darth Vader across the two characters at the bottom. So it's going to be a bit hard, just like yesterday with the two characters. I'm going to off the pendulum light and work in darkness again to adjust the shadow just perfectly correct. Alright? So I see you when I'm done. Bye! Alright, that is perfect for me. Let me just take a step back and just show you the main purpose here is to get the lightsaber aligned right at the corner. You cannot really see but that is the corner right there in the dark. And this won't be, this character here won't be like that. But the Darth Vader will be like that. So right now I'm going to go ahead and use this pencil and trace all around the wall. And we will have our giant Darth Vader. Woo! Okay guys. I'm not sure whether you can see there's a pencil mark on the shadow, it's silver colour. I'm basically done with the whole Darth Vader. It's awesome, I'm gonna move on to the next mural. Let's go! Good morning guys, so it's 2am right now and tomorrow I don't have work so I'm going to set up the shadow art for the Millennium Falcon right there and on some music and we're gonna get to work. Let's go!
2 so it's 3 a.m. right now I'm hungry and I'm gonna go eat first and come back and we'll continue tracing I'm quite satisfied with this right now so let's go eat so I spent a considerable amount of hours on this shadow sketch it's daytime right now but you can see the details of the sketch it's quite detailed so I spent quite a lot of time on it so cue in the Star Wars song dun, 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 dun.